educated man will be the walking kind looking for a job that he may never find try on and try on but finding that it's so the uneducated man has the hardest road to go Down the city streets, you'll see him walking by, wondering where he's going and where his future lies. He knows he's learning about reality. The uneducated man has the hardest life to lead. school, man. Those guys aren't going to school. They're going in the army. They're doing both, friend. Many of these men will be getting their education right in the army. You put me on? What's the army got to do with getting an education? You see that name? It stands for a lot of learning. It gives every man who comes into the service a chance to improve himself. United States Army Educational Development Program. Say, that's a mighty big name. It's a mighty big job. Look at it this way. The modern U.S. fighting man is provided with the finest equipment in the world, devised by experts in military technology. In order to use this materiel efficiently, the Army must have men who can operate and care for a tremendous variety of military devices. The man entering the U.S. Army today is faced with one of the biggest learning assignments he'll ever have. Operation of complex and sophisticated weapons demands from each soldier extreme alertness and quick response. New concepts in the use of Army aircraft require ever-changing aviation skills. New methods of ground combat and latest maneuver and survival techniques must be learned and mastered. Each American soldier who finds himself in far-off places is a one-man representative of his country. Wherever his assignment takes him, he must learn to get along with people, to help them when he can, to try to make them understand his mission. To do all these jobs, he must have a lot of preparation. He must be able to read well and understand what he is reading. Whatever his assignment, wherever he must perform it, Throughout his military service, he will be in continuous contact with learning, with education. He will need to obtain all the knowledge he can about his particular army job. Because the need for knowledge in the modern army is so great, educational opportunities within the military must be equal to the challenge. The army provides a continuing educational environment for the serviceman. There you go with one of them big words again. Just what is an educational environment? You might say it's a kind of background that encourages the soldier to learn. But let's take it from the beginning. Let's hear it how it really is from the people who work in the Army education system. We in the Army education program are concerned with the mental fitness of each man who comes into the service. At one time, as many as 300,000 men a year were rejected by the armed forces because they could not meet minimum standards. Today, thanks to a dramatic preparatory program and basic educational skills, hundreds of men who would have been rejected are taken into the army and do their jobs well. At the reception center, the new men are interviewed and their suitability for particular army assignments is evaluated. Tests are given to determine their educational readiness. We have to know which of the men can be put immediately into basic training and which need preparatory educational assistance.
What does basic education mean to a man who has never been able to read well or to communicate easily with others? As a supervisor in the Army Preparatory Program, I see the answer to that question every day. Private Neely, I'm going to flash some words on the screen. I want you to write them, and then we're going to use them in sentences. Right, ready for the first one? In modern reading laboratories, now, men selected for the project right, are taught call. basic reading skills in a three to six week course. Ingenious yeah. visual aids help them to improve their knowledge and use of words. Now look over your sentences and find the sentence where the word jet belongs. Number three. Number three. All right, will you read it, please? They took a jet plane because it was fast. Fine. Good. All right, let's try the second. This man is improving his reading ability through the use of a tachistoscope, which projects words to now, test the student's comprehension. Right, the what was it? Dust. All right, let's check. The word was dust. All right, look over your sentences and tell me where that word belongs. Number four. All right, number four. Read it, please. All the tables were covered with dust. Fine. Very good. Let's try the next one. Another important device for reading improvement is the controlled reader. This equipment projects one or several words at a time. Each word is highlighted at a pace preset by the teacher or the student himself. By encouraging the student to control his own rate of learning, we increase his confidence and pride in developing better reading skills. At the Audex Learning Station, the student listens to words or sentences being spoken on a record. As he listens to the recording, he sees how the words look on the screen. Sometimes, reading ability is hampered by problems in the eye itself. An eye-measuring camera records the rate of movement of the eye in the reading process. Results of the test are revealed on film in the form of graph-like impressions. Okay, people, let's take a look at uh, the vocabulary words that we have for today. First of all, number one, can anyone pronounce this word properly? Edmiston. Composure. Right, the word is composer. Okay, what about the meaning? What does the word composer mean? Uh, Green. Composer is a person who writes music. Exactly, a composer is a person who writes music. All right, now how would you... This is the beginning, the reading and understanding of words, the foundation for all education. Okay, the composer wrote a new song. Real good, real good. Now, how about number two? It's the correct, correct pronunciation. Um, D'Angelo. Concerning. Okay, the word is concerning. Prepared with fundamental educational skills, the young soldier goes into his basic training better equipped for the job he has to do. The Romans said it, a sound mind in a sound body. The man who knows what he is about is a stronger man because of this knowledge. Each man gets ahead as fast as his own industry and initiative will take him. As an Army education counselor, my job is to offer advice and guidance to the soldier on his future educational possibilities in the service. Once the man has made his decision to continue his education, several choices are open to him, depending on the amount of schooling he may have had before entering the service may attend group study classes and a number of subjects for high school credits. Some of these are given during on-duty time. Various Army posts also arrange with nearby high schools to conduct off-duty courses in their classrooms. ...in the ancient cultures. Technology is nothing more than putting... These courses prepare the students for taking high school equivalency tests. What is it that makes people poor? 
Specialist fading. One's occupation. One's occupation. All right, good. Any other ideas? Uh, Private Gonzalez. Lack of education. Lack of education, right. And here's for structural unemployment. Passing these tests will qualify the student as a high school graduate equivalent for all military purposes. In an average year, more than 50,000 soldiers complete the tests and are eligible for high school diplomas. Most states will award a diploma or equivalency certificate on the basis of the same tests though some localities may have additional requirements before a high school diploma can be awarded. For the Army student, a knowledge of basic high school subjects is an open door to better jobs, better pay, and a better future. As a company commander, I'm for the education program right down the line. I'm particularly interested in the MOS, or job-related classes, which help my men improve their military skills. Any time I have a need for instruction within the company, the education people will set up a class on or near the post. These classes are usually held in on-duty time. Sometimes we'll send selected men for specialized job-related training to one of the regular Army service schools, but the on-post or nearby classes have the advantage of not taking the men away from their company duties. At the post library, the men who take the job-related courses find a lot to bone up on. Stacks of Army manuals and directives on military subjects give them a ready pool of reference material. Everything is here, from planning airfields to Army administrative procedures, from figuring the tolerances of metals to the logistics of supply management. For the man who wants to get ahead in the Army, this is a good way to go. Stay with the books, stay with the classes. The Army education program helps give me men who can tackle their company assignments with confidence. Men who can do a better job because they are prepared with the knowledge they need to take action. Some instructors in Army educational programs are military personnel. Although they are specialists in their field, they may need some training in effective teaching techniques. This is provided in a regularly scheduled instructor's evaluation course. The switchboard is the most important in Army communication. You, as students, will be called upon to operate this switchboard. Before I call on you for criticism, just one statement, Taylor. Your visual directness was just a wee bit off. A little more polishing on that. Rays, what do you have to say about his gestures? I think he used too much gesturing. You think he did? Yes. I think he did too. Williams, what do you have to say about his posture? Well, I think his posture could use a little improvement. In, in what way? Well, he's a little too stiff. Mm -hmm. Marshall. What about his movements? On well, his movement, he wasn't relaxed. He was shaking his leg, and it didn't move right or left. You don't think he moved right or left? Yes. Very, very constructive. There's one thing I'd like to add as to his visual directness. That can stand quite a bit of improvement. In the Army, when the student can't go to school, school goes to the student, wherever he may be. The services of an Army education counselor are always at hand to counsel and guide the soldier. A full program of correspondence courses allows men who are unable to attend group classes to take selected courses for high school or college credit. These courses are conducted by Army education centers using text materials provided by the United States Armed Forces Institute, known as USAFI. Started during the early days of World War II, USAFI was designed to provide educational opportunities for millions of Americans who served their country around the globe. USAFI lessons and text assignments taken by men in the field were shipped back to the United States for evaluation as quickly as war priorities would allow. At Madison, Wisconsin, 
the first United States Armed Forces Institute began the processing of papers on 64 different courses. Mobile classrooms equipped with USAFI instructional materials followed U.S. troops wherever they went. The early courses were in the technical and vocational fields, but by 1944, many more courses were available at higher educational levels through the cooperation of colleges and universities, both at home and abroad. In the following years, USAFI educational materials used in Army education programs reached an all-time high. Courses were added to include most of the subjects in the general civilian school curriculums. After World War II, as a result of USAFI educational benefits, hundreds of thousands of GIs were able to return to their peacetime pursuits better equipped to take their places in the civilian community. Today, in its modern headquarters at Madison, USAFI is the largest mail-order educational system in the world. Originally developed for the Army, the program was subsequently made available to personnel in the other armed forces. USAFI supplies instructional materials for service personnel on assignment, both here and overseas. It offers a testing and grading service at all educational levels in various world areas where U.S. forces are stationed, including Alaska, the Caribbean, and Hawaii. Educational materials and services are developed to meet highest civilian standards. Today, over 200 correspondence courses may be taken directly from USAFI in pre-high school, high school, college, and technical subjects. Now cooperating in the Army Education Program are literally hundreds of colleges and universities in the continental United States. Many of these offer resident classroom programs as well as the correspondence courses. Over 6,000 courses are available. For Army personnel stationed abroad, many famous American universities have extended their campuses to different parts of the world. Using the facilities of the nearest Army Education Center, these institutions offer group study courses for full academic credit toward degree requirements. The Army pays part of the tuition. Look at how we might use this in a classroom with young people in a high school situation, for instance. So I think we'll just go to the class and see what kinds of things you have discovered. Um, did someone have something that they had thought about that they felt was a very different kind of uh, creative act? Mr. Johnson, could you think of something? When I was in college, I, I ran the lights for the college theatrical group, and uh, we instituted a number of lighting techniques which we thought were particularly creative. Recently, I've had the opportunity to use creativity in developing a 400 calorie reduction diet. In doing so, I was able to keep the interest and enthusiasm of the patient, and the patient actually looked forward to their meals. Under certain conditions, qualified Army students may attend a civilian college or university full-time in order to complete degree requirements. At the University of Heidelberg, U.S. soldiers who have earned their degrees during off-duty time are given academic honors. But whether the action is a commencement in Germany, an education program in the tropics, Korea, or at any of the more than 300 U.S. Army education centers around the world, the name of the game is learning. For the military man, education is no longer a luxury. In this dynamic technological age, it is essential to his success as a soldier. Just as he learns about new weapons and new military concepts on the training field, he learns to broaden himself as a person in the classroom. Almost 70% of all officers presently in the United States Army have four years of college or more. Sometimes a trip back to a rear area may be a chance to brush up on a study course. 
military personnel who use off-duty time constructively to advance their personal capabilities not only make better soldiers, but will make better, happier citizens. The main purpose of Army education programs is, of course, to increase the soldier's knowledge in order to create the best possible Army. Education incentives encourage the serviceman to remain with a military career, serving not only his country, but his own self-advancement. Each individual carries within him the most of what he can be. To be less is to deprive both himself and his country. Only education can unleash his fullest powers. For those who decide to return to the civilian community after their service, still another Army education program is available. In his last six months of service, soldiers lacking high school or civilian-related skills may enroll in Project Transition, which provides transitional training to help him find a suitable job in civilian life. And you could get a job in that particular trade. Project Transition was directed by the Department of Defense to provide in-service training for people like you who are preparing for return to civilian life and who have no skill to sell as a civilian. We hope to provide training in two different fields, academic and vocational. An Army transition counselor advises the soldier interested in the project on the various possibilities open to him. Whereby you can obtain vocational training. There are several different areas where you can uh, receive this vocational training to uh, obtain a skill where you buy, uh, whereby you may be employed after you get out of service. Okay, they can offer you uh, training in uh, auto mechanics, uh, clerk, cook, retail salesman, draftsman, automatic data processing machine operator, uh, computer programmer, machinist, aircraft mechanic, welder, plumber, post office worker, air conditioning repairman. Do you think that you might be interested in, in any of these areas? Yes, sir. Good morning, class. Refresher classes in English and math are important to the transitional program. Your compound sentence will have two principal clauses. Each clause will be able to stand alone. Each clause will have a subject and a verb. Now, gentlemen, these are the four basic words that we use when we're talking about interest problems. However, these words are a little long to use. A course in basic business practices gives the students an introduction to the world of commerce. And we make us a formula. I want you to tell me which branch... Project transition students may also receive a general briefing on American government. Senate, both the House and Senate or the President? The Senate, right. Must be at least 25 years old. The House, right. Must be a resident of the state from which he is elected, Metcalf. Both the, House Both the House and Senate. The Vice President of the United States is a presiding officer. The Senate. The Senate. Various government agencies, educational institutions, and private industry conduct briefings on a number of specific job areas. Supervisors outline activities and suggest job uh, opportunities. During this course, we will, however, discuss basic automotive theory. We will discuss the service station business in particular, and we will discuss business practices. We will apply this theory. We will put more than 200,000 soldiers a year are During taking course, advantage of project transition services at installations all over the country. To be successful in a business. We're going to be discussing automotive knowledge. Students in the project are taught by experts, and many will receive actual job offers from companies cooperating in the program. Engine here, and later on, uh, we'll go around the room, and we will be pointing out each of the uh, different things that we'll be discussing during the course. This class is specifically designed to teach you people how to operate the different and various types of equipment that you'll find in the business world today. Starting off, right in back of me here is what we call, or refer to as the NCR Class 450 proof machine. Business machines and other devices used in the business community are brought into class for demonstration. The proof or transit department of a bank 
but the transit department or the proof department is serves as sort of a funnel to which every transaction in the bank has to go through to be proven. I'd like to tell you a little bit about the opportunities we have to offer in United Parcel Service. I'll tell you a little bit about what United Parcel Service is. We are package delivery specialists. When I say package delivery specialist, we pick up and deliver small packages. The great variety of subjects offered in Project Transition's occupational training, both on post and in civilian plants, allows each man to choose the particular specialty for which he is best suited. Soldiering and education go hand in hand. In an average year, nearly 200,000 Army personnel participate in the education program. On all levels, every assistance is provided to the soldier for continuation of his education while on active duty. The United States Army General Educational Development Program, a steady climb toward greater Army efficiency and individual self-improvement. Let's see now. Education. Army, including completion high school equivalency courses, job-related instruction, special courses in speed reading, also Army correspondence courses, college studies, transitional training, all in the Army. Hey, you really have been to school, haven't you? I certainly have. Well, we shouldn't have any trouble finding a place for a man with your educational background. Tell you what. Take this to Mr. Wilson. He's our placement head. Two doors down on your way out. I sure will. Thank you, sir. Don't mention it. And good luck. Mile of education's worth a thousand miles of a road. I'm traveling light and easy. Cause I'm a man who knows. I've had my schooling now. And I'm sure that it is so. A mile of education's worth a thousand miles. I've had my schooling now, and I'm sure that it is so. A mile of education's worth a thousand miles of road. 